1974, an album appeared on Decca by an entity known as Visitors, a studio band comprised of some of France's finest library and jazz rock musicians, and from it, the track Noose. <laughs> So far, it sounds a lot like um, Ange. Yeah, there are a few Ange songs that begin like this with that that kind of bang and that 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 uh, sustained, you know, kind of like moody type sound. I think is none other than uh, Didier Lockwood. Yeah, he's one of the people credited with having been involved in this. Um, credits are a little bit hard to come by in certain uh, media. But... Yeah, it's got to be Lockwood. He's the only uh, violinist I see in the whole list of, like, what looks like to be about 10 or 12 members. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 10, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I, I'm reminded, like, bum bum sustain like that, do -do -do -do, that and with the, with the mood filling in over the sustained over the sustain of like the initial like guitar bass notes yeah uh that that's uh Andre were doing that quite a lot like in their on their mid 70s albums like email Jacody that one or La Mandarin yeah <laughs> Or also uh, the band Mona Lisa, like on Le P Petit Voila and a Mr. Gre Gregoire. Notice how the rhythms change, it's getting more persistent now. It's, it's kind of like going kind of more in, in, in speed now, like da 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 Okay, one of the vocalists you're hearing is the ever ubiquitous uh, Jean Pierre Massiera. Yeah, more on him in a bit. <laughs> variation of the progression we were hearing earlier. It, it's similar yet different. <laughs> now we got like a yeah like a bass line that's kind of like moving around more boom 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 down boom boom but and then the the violin the way it's interacting with it. <laughs> Okay, now what keyboard is that? That down, a little bit distorted, down. Is it like a clavinet saying on a synthesizer? Okay, did 
Peter Lockwood is the star of this music life. <laughs> Visitors, library supergroup here, yeah, um, lots of players involved on this. Uh, the keyboards you were hearing were by, um, let's see, Jackie uh, Bamardini is credited, yeah, I've seen his name on some library titles. Jean-Claude Terran, organ Moog. Jean-Pierre Stretti, keyboards, vocal. Let's see, Francis Lockwood, oh, uh, electric piano. Uh, yeah, so... Francis Lockwood, um, huh, not as familiar with him. Uh, yeah, the, the Lockwood, the Lockwood family was quite, quite musical. Um, and, uh, oh, well, a whole bunch of other people, several people credited on vocals. So I, so I, I can't really necessarily point to which, uh, voice on that, that kind of chanted section was, uh, Jean-Pierre, uh, Messiera, but he has quite a colorful career in the realm of library and experimental French releases from the time period. Let's hear another track from this Visitor's album. The title track, or in other words, the album's treble. Yeah, a title track from a, self t uh, from a self-titled album. Yeah. You get it? You get it? Um, and a song named after an album, named after a band. Yeah. Uh, visitors... Okay, some spooky sounds here so far. Um, similar to some of the other things that uh, Jean uh, Pierre Massiera has been involved in. Yeah, going for the kind of that haunted vibe, kind of spacey. Um, to fill you in on Jean-Pierre Messiera, for those not familiar, um, a French library musician, composer, and producer who partook in various avant psych and space front projects during the late 1960s and 1970s, including Les Maledictus Les, uh, Les Sound, Visitors, which we're listening to here, Horrific Child, and Human Egg. In 1976, he played with symphonic rockers Atlantide and teamed with the band's guitarist on the Marcy music release, Turn Radio On. Yeah, yeah, quite a few of these, these projects have, have become quite popular in the 21st century, like within the blogosphere. Like, um, I think like Tur Turn Radio On has become quite an item in the rare circles. Les Maledictus Sound and Horrific Child have been uh, like, like traded around repeatedly among um, fans of like space rock psych and such. Or horror psych, I should say. I like how um, just kind of found sounds and creepy, spooky noises are now converging with like musical elements, like that definite bass figure. <laughs> you know those kind of like droney low sounds, like that sounds it sounds like a like the strings on a grand piano or something being like hit with a mallet or something. <laughs> Once again, uh, Didier Lockwood really coming into the fore with a definite like thematic element being brought to the piece. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess it does take quite a few voices to create that kind of spooky, uh, like like voices from from a distance, vo you know, voices from beyond type 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 of feel. <laughs> Those are the visitors, I guess, like apparitions or something. Love the musical elements here now now we're turning into kind of more like a zao track or something yeah some some of the other things like like lockwood have been involved in yeah. Tight chamber rock feel between Lockwood and uh, whoever is responsible for that piano, one of several keyboards credit, credited, and that, that bass figure. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Kind of more of a riff going on under those voices, like a don don't, a don a don don't, like that, like and and, and then those voices kind of like going pain between each speaker, almost like call and response, like. <laughs> between yeah composed and experimental sort of freeform sounds yeah that that dun, dun, that the, those sounds that are going on in the behind that that violin <laughs> Those sounds of bong, bong, are kind of like out of tune with the violin. Yeah, kind of like uh, creating some, adding a bit of like harmonic corruption. A bit of creepy creaking sounds there toward the end. Yeah, that was the song Visitors from the album Visitors by the band Visitors. Yes, uh, French Library Jazz Rock Chamber Rock Supergroup um, released in 1974 on Decca. Let's hear, these songs are pretty short. Let's hear one more. Uh, Flatwood Story. <laughs> And there are a few moods that this can conjure up other than kind of like nighttime, rainy, pouring down, kind of kind of a desolate feel. <laughs> Yeah, hearing some like creepy, kind of, kind of like that, the, 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 the sound of like a bunch of like um, objects and clocks going off in, uh, in an abandoned old root furnished room, like full of cobwebs and, and like critters and such, like in the dark, you know. Like late sixties psychedelic sounding vocals. Oh, I love 
uh, musical detail here. It's it's hard to. They ran to the yeah, uh, 60s harmonies coming in the background, a 60s bit of spoken word. Yeah, I'm hearing a, a whole bunch of things are coming to mind, like... Yeah. yeah, kind of like a Vincent Pricey type narrator coming in. I love that bass line that came in right there. Okay, some beautiful arrangements here. We got that bass line that's basically holding things together, that doom, 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 doom. And then we've got those uh, kind of reverb laden, thin guitar, like, yeah, very like right, right out of 1968. I love the complexity of the percussion too. It's kind of like like a trade off between two different percussion things, and just and the way it pans between one speaker and the other, or it goes from like center to left to right like that. This is probably most comparable to like one of those late 60s American like experimental psych releases that, 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 that have gone on to become like a cult item, like like 50 foot hose perhaps, or um, or maybe uh, United States of America, or that, that, okay, yeah, I, I think I just made me name the closest. As it are probably rather interesting if I was to like find them somewhere. I, I, um, I, I uh, had forgotten that, that anything on this album was quite so wordy. Okay, this is probably based on uh, the Flatwoods monster. Let's see, the Flatwood monster in West Virginia folklore is an entity reported to have been sighted in the town of Flatwoods in Braxton County, West Virginia, on September 12, 1952, following the appearance of a bright object crossing the night sky. Maybe from God, not, not from the stars. So much musical like density behind this rather simple progression, and that the end of the world. so much instrumental density, I should say. Hear yeah, that that whoop sound. Yeah, really great drumming on this. I would say the the, the drumming really is what stole the show musically on that one. Yeah, that was uh, Flatwood Story by uh, Visitors from the 1974 release Visitors. Yeah, Visitors, alternately known as Force 5, was a French space rock project comprising some of the nation's leading library and jazz rock musicians. The project had two iterations, the first with a self-titled album on Decca in 1974, the second with an eponymous release on Montage in 1981. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> for more rubies and sapphires from the Visitors album, see the directory of albums by French artists linked in the description below. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and share the video, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the three tracks we just heard, the 
the density, the layers, the nuances, the sound effects, the vibe, the feel, the uh, uh, the way that uh, sounds and effects and, and spooky little, you know, bits here and there just collided with actual, like, tight musical elements and, and like, chamber rock influences in places and just, yeah, that, the, um, how many albums do you get to hear kind of, like, elements of, of, of like, mid-70s kind of uh, Zoil chamber rock and, like, late-60s psychedelia, yeah, in, 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 in the same place, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear travel Trimax most, signing off. <laughs>